witchcraft and the general practice of spellcraft have been a long cause of panic and mistrust within civilizations and communities. Whether or not the accusations of witchcraft were accurate, or simply the product of hysteria, there are detailed accounts of the people involved and their demise at the hands of authorities and mobs of frightened citizens. Some stories listed here may not all reside in fact, some are still legend, but others are backed by authentic records and evidence. It must be said that these stories and accounts are all based around the outdated and fear-driven ideas of the craft, and not the peaceful and benign practice that people have been enacting for centuries. And so in this video, we take a look at our top 5 instances of witchcraft. Let's begin. Bridget Bishop Bridget Bishop was the first woman executed as a result of the Salem Witch Trials in 1692. Bishop was a successful and outspoken woman, she owned several taverns and was known to dress in provocative red gowns. The townspeople of Salem claimed a wide variety of accusations against her which would lead to her death. Allegedly, she had bewitched five girls, poisoned a pig, and attacked men while they slept. The last accusation was most likely due to a natural condition, sleep paralysis. A local named Samuel Shattuck testified that she had asked him to dye lace for her, which he believed she intended to use for a poppet the poppet being a predecessor or variation of the voodoo doll, and serves a similar purpose of transferring whatever spell is inflicted on the poppet to the version of the person it represents. And serves a similar purpose of transferring whatever spell is inflicted on the poppet to the person it represents. Salem townsfolk John and William Bly later found numerous poppets in Bishop's house. Her resentful attitude throughout her trial eventually led to her prosecution and summary execution, of which would be followed by 71 more during the length of the trials. Number 4 The Witch of Endor The Witch of Endor wasn't necessarily malevolent, but the fate she spoke of was not one to be ignored. As the story goes, King Saul went to the Witch of Endor for answers about how to defeat the Philistines. The witch then summoned the ghost of the prophet Samuel, who didn't tell him how to defeat the Philistines, but prophesied that he would be defeated and join his three sons in the afterlife. Saul, who was wounded the next day in the battle, killed himself out of fear, and while the witch didn't technically have a direct part in Saul's death, she was certainly an accessory to his suicide. Number 3 Jenny Greenteeth Depending on where in England you're from, you may know this cruel hag as Ginny, Genie, or Wicked Jenny. Jenny Greenteeth was a crone of a woman who would intentionally drown the young and the old for the sheer fun of it. In some legends, she devours her victims, and in others, she is just a sadist who enjoys the pain her victims endure. She's frequently described as having a green complexion and razor-sharp teeth. As with many creepy characters from folklore, she was probably used to scare children into behaving and staying close to the water's edge while taking an afternoon swim. Her appearance has also seeped into the collective consciousness as the cliché and typical appearance for a fairy tale witch. Number 2 The Bell Witch The Bell Witch is the most famous witch in American folklore. The Bell Witch was supposedly a poltergeist that appeared in the home of John Bell Sr. in 1817. The Bell Witch would attack members of the household and frequently swear and curse at the family. She is said to have eventually poisoned John Bell by leaving a bottle of poison in the guise of medicine. This story is unusual even by paranormal standards. For a start, it tells of a poltergeist infestation mentioning the physical attacks on the family, but then goes on to personify the spirit as a witch, showing sentient behaviour such as communication and trickery, both of which are never associated with poltergeist activity, but could well be put down to the use of dark magic to invade a home and torment the residents. Number 1 Mare Johnsdotter Mare Johnsdotter was accused of attending Witch's Sabbaths in Blockula, a mythical Swedish meadow. Johnsdotter was the first witch tried in Sweden during the Great Noise that swept through the country between 1668 and 1676. A local shepherd girl, Gertrude Svensdotter, whose father had unsuccessfully courted Mare, was the first to accuse her. Gertrude was not without motivation. At the time, a local priest of a neighbouring town was investigating Gertrude, because her small brother alleged that she had led a parade of goats across the water like Moses. Such behaviour in these times was said to be typical of witches. Gertrude named Mare as the person who had taught her witchcraft, and also claimed that Mare had introduced her to the devil. During the trial, Gertrude's father declared that Mare had ridden him as a horse to Blockula. 
Mare's little sister asserted during questioning that she and Mare had ridden cows to Blockula, where they had slaughtered them and slept with the devil. Because she would not confess, Mare would not be executed at this point in time, but the witch craze continued to spread in Sweden, and laws regarding the confession and execution were soon modified. When she was again accused during the Mora witch trials, she was declared guilty in 1672 and was decapitated, as was the Swedish custom, before being burned. So there you have it, that was our top 5 list on historical cases of witchcraft. Check back again for our next video on top 5 urban legends and their origins. Until next time.